So by the symbiosis of us at MIT and the members of ADAPT, we really hope to not only accelerate the impact of advanced manufacturing technologies today, but chart the future. Where will 3D printing and robotics uh, advance individually and work together to create new paradigms for what factories look like and how products are designed, developed, and serviced. And what are the business models of the future? You know, who is a manufacturer? What does a consumer products company look like? What are the advanced, customized uh, you know, aircraft components and medical devices? How do we use these technologies to keep products living for longer durations? What is the impact of them on resource utilization and long-term economics? I think there are a lot of really complex, rich questions that we can only answer together. Uh, and it, it really becomes it comes a feedback. Uh, uh, you build a, build a community, you build a, a tight uh, a group of, of interested members uh, to work closely with us together at MIT and advance our research, have our students do the most impactful research and have them spin out new companies and go work for member companies uh, and, uh, and uh, allow that to be a, a continuous cycle. Uh, uh, more than anything, I feel there's a thirst for moving fast and there's a thirst for impact that careful, clear technical strategy as well as uh, this, this multidisciplinary vision is, is necessary to, uh, to establish. And uh, we're fortunate to be, to be at MIT with you know, so many bright students uh, and, and colleagues and also strengths in the so many disciplines that define manufacturing, advanced manufacturing today. It's not just mechanical engineering or machines as it might have been decades ago, but it's machines and software and advanced materials and uh, their applications in uh, both you know, uh, heavy manufacturing, automobiles, aircraft, but also uh, biomanufacturing and uh, construction materials and so on and so forth uh, that uh, we can think about this uh, center having impact on. You know, it's not that everything's going to change in manufacturing. There's a lot of manufacturing that's you know, tried and true and uh, well established and those processes are still going to stay. But the digitization of the production systems and the addition of these new technologies and a greater level of automation and informatics is going to make manufacturing much more capable and versatile and efficient. Uh, and you know, above anything at ADAPT, we want to enable our members to innovate, innovate on their own and, and innovate with us. And, and uh, being here at MIT, uh, being committed to education and research, uh, we feel that there's a strong need for, for construction of, a, of an interface there, where we can uh, have our best ideas in the context of what we know uh, in our research as well as what the problems of industry are. Uh, and I think you know, now's the time for, for, for advanced manufacturing and we're still really in the early days of what the future looks like. Uh, we don't know what the future looks like and that's why we're here, because we're going to try to help uh, create it together. <laughs>